Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating View Pager 2. So, View Pager 2 basically allows the user to swipe up or down or maybe left or right through the pages. And why is it View Pager 2? Because it's an improved version of View Pager 1. Got it? Let's make it more clear with an example. So, consider TikTok or Reels or maybe Shorts. All of this vertical video works by swiping up or down, right? I have already created shots using view pager 2 in one of my previous video. You can click on the i button to watch. Let's take in another example. Mm, maybe a Tinder. That's a great example of view pager, right? How does it work? By swiping right or left on the profile. I hope you got my point. Now view pager also have varieties like creating with text or images or videos or maybe a custom view pager. But all of them will have a same set of steps like adding view pager in XML, then creating a specific layout file, then creating adapter, view holder, three methods and that's it. As this series is for beginner, we will go for simple view pager with text that can be swiped right or left. So with that said, let's create the project. Choose empty views activity, then click on next, name it as view pager text. And click finish. First we will do the prerequisites. This is all optional. If you want you can directly skip to activity main.xml. Now go to colors.xml. Press ctrl plus d to duplicate the line. Name the color as blue. And hex code as 1A90F1. Then go to themes.xml, uncomment this line and give the color as blue. Press ctrl plus d to duplicate the line and write the item name as color primary variant. Then again duplicate the line and write the item name as android status bar color. And that's it. Now I'll be adding a background in the drawable. Copy the image and paste it in the drawable. This is just a rough idea to show you that how can you use text view pager, okay? So this is where we will add a text which we can swipe left or right. See the background will be as it is, okay? Only the text will be able to swipe left or right, got it? Now let's proceed further. Go to activity main.xml. Add view pager to Keep the width and height as match parent. Then give it an ID as view pager. And then our background. And that's it. Remember we used to create specific item layout for recycler view. Same way we will be doing it for view pager as well. So right click on layout. Then new. And then layout resource file. Name it as page layout. Keep it as linear layout. And click OK. Now whatever element you want to make it swipeable you have to mention it over here. Got it? Like I want to create a text that is swipeable so I'll create a text view. Maybe you want to create an image that should be swipeable so create an image view. Or maybe you want to create a swipeable text view as well as image view both you can do that too. Getting my point? So now let me quickly create the text view and then I'll explain you.
it's almost done but to make it look more fancy i'll be adding a custom font that is popping so go to design click on text view and then search over here as font family click on the arrow scroll till the last and click on more fonts choose pop ins regular and click okay and that's it so i have named the text view as pager text and added all the other necessary attributes and done now let's go to main activity this is where we will set our adapter create view holder and many more thing so to make it simplify let's divide it in six steps let me tell you all the steps in short so first we will declare all the variables then we will create view pager adapter then we will create view holder then next we will create a list of text then adding all the three methods and then lastly set the adapter that's it so now let's do it step by step step number 1 declare all the variables so in our case we will be declaring view pager 2 and view pager adapter so let me quickly do that and it's done now step number 2 create a view pager adapter so class view pager adapter then recycler view dot adapter and inside that we will add view holder which we have not created it yet so let's create it in a step number 3 class view holder then add a parameter as item view then again recycler view dot view holder and then mention the parameter which we just created that is item view Now inside that we will attach the text view that we created in page layout with its respective variable. So first declare it as private well page text as text view. Then initialize it as item view dot find view by id, and mention the id as page text. then we need to create a function named as find and we will create a parameter as item whose data type is string now after all of this write pager text and with the help of text that is basically our set text set it on the item variable and that's it now step number 4 create a list of text so inside the view pager adapter i will write private well item list and then a list of now inside the list of i'll mention three text so when you swipe left you will see the second text and then again when you will swipe left you will see the third text got it same way when you are a third text and if you will swipe right then you will see the second text got it right so let me quickly write it and it's done then step number 5 create view pager adapter three methods so click on implement members select all of them and click okay now we have three methods that is on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count so in on create view holder we link the layout file using layout inflator so write well view is equal to layout inflator 
dot from parent dot context and then inflate the page layout which we created. Give it as parent and attach root as false. Then lastly, it will return the view. Now inside the onbind view holder, we set the position of the element, right? So write well item is equal to item list, that is a list of text with position. So basically item variable will store all the position of the item list. Got it? Then lastly, with the help of holder, we will attach our pager text that is inside the bind function to the item. In short, we have attached the pager text with their respective position in the list. Then third method that is get item count. This is our eighth video from the series. So till now you should be aware what do we do in the get item count. If still not aware about it, so let me tell you. So in get item count, we return the size of our list. In our case, our list is item list. So item list dot size. And that's it. Now, step number six and our last step. Set the adapter. So first, initialize the view pager. Then we created pager adapter variable, right? So inside that pager adapter, we will call our view pager adapter class. Then lastly, set the pager adapter on view pager using adapter. That is basically our set adapter. And that's it. We are done with the coding. Now let's run the app. This is how it looks. Now I'll swipe left and see the text is changed while the background is as it is. Again, I will swipe left and text is changed. Perfect. Now I will swipe right. See, back to the previous text. Perfect. Same way you can do it for image, text, videos, anything. Got it? I have also created onboarding pages using view pager too. You can click on the i button to watch. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.